Hi, and welcome to Quest 101, part of the 101 series for Creature Quest. This video will cover everything you need to know about the quests in Creature Quest. What are quests, you ask? Quests are adventures that you embark on, full of enemy encounters and fun discoveries, in order to capture creatures and pick up a whole lot of loot. Each quest has a unique story that will unravel throughout your journey. Different quests also have different types of loot to pick up. The first aspect of this is regarding the colors. Quests that show all six colors have a full variety of colored gems and Evo items. You will notice that there are also more focused quests with three, two, or even just one color. These have gems and items that are specific to the color shown on the main quest screen. Check out the preview of each quest to see the types of items that you may find on the quest. This is important depending on if you need more gems, totems, or Evo items, and especially if you need items for a certain color. Something else to note, the fewer the colors of a quest, the more difficult that quest is. It also means that the rewards are much more focused. There are many quests that rotate either daily, every few days, weekly, or monthly. Check each day to see which quests are available. You can see how long each quest is available right on the screen. Don't worry though, you won't lose your place in a quest once you've started it, as long as you don't abandon the quest. I want to especially point out the event quests. These don't repeat very often. The event quests are the only quests with a chance to capture an epic creature and have increased drop rates of certain rare creatures. Okay, let's check out a quest, Might Over Magic. As you can see, this is a six-color quest with loot including mostly gems and totems. Near the bottom is the current difficulty level. Swipe right to advance to the next difficulty once you've completed a quest. You'll notice that the treasure increases as you advance to higher levels. Okay, let's head into the quest. Once we're in, we can start unlocking parts of the map and picking up some loot. What's this castle? Okay, it looks like we need to find a catapult. We'll continue exploring for now. Uh-oh, creatures are blocking the way. Looks like we'll have to defeat one to move forward. Battles are covered in the Battles 101 video, so we'll skip to the end. Now that we've defeated this creature, we can continue to unlock more of the map. We could explore more to the right, but let's head back to the castle. I'm just a bit curious about that signpost. Hmm, the signpost hints of going north. What's this village? Okay, looks like the buzz around town is that this creature is nearby. Let's be helpful and find him. To avoid spoiler territory, let's skip ahead a little. As you can see, there's plenty of discovery and exploration. You might notice, I just found a treasure chest. There are five on each map. Chests differ in color, each with different levels of treasure. You can see how many you've collected right on the bottom of the quest. On the bottom right, you can view the quest overview and any current quest bonuses. Okay, skipping forward, I found the catapult, which means I've gained access to the Archmage's castle. Time for a boss battle so I can exile him from the land, completing this quest. Upon completion, you get to open all of your chests and get more rewards. If you complete a quest 100%, you will get a times two bonus on one of the reward items. That covers everything for the Quests 101 video. Please watch the rest of the videos in the 101 series and quest on.